Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so excited. It has been almost about a year since I posted my very first vlog, which is all about the mobile boutique. So today is a highly anticipated video, but it's how I got started with my mobile boutique. Let's get you guys caught up within the last year that has been happening. I am currently seven months pregnant and I am due in July and all of this year I've just been really focusing on growing the mobile boutique, expanding, and then also just getting my business aligned and organized before baby arrives. So that's everything that's been happening within the last year. So since posting the last video, I have gotten so many requests as to like how I got started with my mobile boutique and so I've always wanted to inspire you guys to chase your dreams and so therefore I want to use this YouTube channel to talk about the mobile boutique, how I run my business, um, how we're expanding because we did buy another trailer which stay tuned for that, that's another video. Um, but yeah, and I have little notes because I honestly without notes I am a hot mess I'm not organized I can just go on and on and on so I'm just gonna do it very simple I have bullet points and then I'll elaborate as we go okay guys so how did I get started it all starts with an idea you already have the idea um, and one thing that I will say is you have to be open-minded to that idea shifting or changing because originally I didn't want a trailer I wanted a like a UPS truck or like a little I don't know just like a box truck that's how I envision my mobile boutique um, but the idea came about in 2015 my mom gave me the idea when I started the whole boutique world um, and then fast forward to 2019 in the beginning of the pandemic I actually took the leap of faith I had saved up quite a bit of money and I just decided to start looking and bought my trailer okay so as far as how much I saved everybody's situation is gonna be a little bit different I am very blessed and fortunate that both my dad and husband are very handy so I didn't really have to find somebody to do the actual work all I did was purchase a trailer and then I also purchased the materials and from there they did the work so I would just honestly budget and start saving while you're looking don't get discouraged um, I it took me a couple of years as I mentioned before 2015 to 2019 to save something and I had no idea what was gonna happen so I was just kind of ready for everything but I would say start with 5k upwards um, and see who you can contract to help you do the work for less all right so second you're gonna start doing your research on where to find your mobile boutique like I said I found mine on Facebook marketplace that's an excellent way to find vintage campers um, you could probably find like trucks like box trucks you can find so many different things like I said be open-minded what you're looking um, we were honestly not expecting to find this kind of trailer but we found it on Facebook marketplace and it has been a blessing and so with the second one that I was looking for for such a long time because we did buy another trailer and I'll show you guys in another video everything about it and I'm gonna show the renovation process and everything here um, that one took a long time and I had to also be open-minded to something completely different and literally not in the condition that I found this one in you could always ask your local friends and family local businesses if anybody's selling a trailer a vintage camper anything along those lines um, you can even do like one of those horse trailers I've seen horse trailers turn into amazing cute little boutiques um, depends on what you're doing but just be open-minded and I would just start asking people if Facebook marketplace doesn't work for you I would just even drive around there's a lot of people that have campers just sitting there and maybe you can just ask them if you can pay them a certain amount and then take the camper so I would say lay it out map it out do the whole fun part well you have to start with the boring part and so the boring part like for us when we started it was always the outside work so the outside just fixing the things that needed to be fixed the floors the walls like everything before we got into the exciting part which was actually the putting together the mobile boutique while my dad and husband were working on the boring part which is really crucial to the structure of the mobile boutique I was on my laptop laying out and I guess mapping out how I wanted my mobile boutique to look like so I know a lot of people are like worried about the details the whole business legal side of doing the mobile boutique but I'm a believer to just go for it and then the rest will fall into place so that's exactly what we did we found the boutique we ended up um, bringing it to Florida renovating it and then it probably two months before opening that's when I started really searching into the whole legal aspect of how to have a mobile boutique here in the state of Florida. Um, every state is completely different and that is something that is completely separate from the whole renovation process. 
All right, very quick, let's talk about the layout of my mobile boutique. So I was very blessed to find a trailer that had three doors already and had the window, so no doors were installed. The only renovation that was done was to the back door, which we did like a French style um, door. And so when I was trying to figure out the layout, it was really difficult because I originally didn't want to cover any other windows. I love all the natural lighting. However, you have to be open-minded. We ended up putting a rack over here so all of the clothing right here stays. Especially when we're driving, we don't have to bring them down. It does have support and I did find my rack on Amazon. Originally, when I started the boutique layout, I had this wicker stand right over here, but it wasn't serving the purpose. I didn't have the items that I wanted to, I guess, cover everything. So instead we took it out and we added this extra rack, which gives me room for clearance and it's completely separate. Once again, all the clothing stays on there when we're driving, it does not fall. And then I added a couple shelving in the back. Once again, I wanted to use every square footage for product and to maximize profit. We Yay. installed a mirror. Ow. Hi! We installed a mirror. Of course, you have to have one in a boutique. And then now we use the wicker stand as a shoe display. That's where we display all of our shoes. We added two face outs back there, which is like new arrivals and outfits. And of course, we added a dresser. Now, very quick, this used to be a kitchen cabinet that we turned into a dresser. Originally, I wanted a true dresser, but it was going to come out more. So this just worked out perfect. We refurbished it. We um, painted it. We added the hardware. And this is my storage when we're driving. Of course, I bungee cord it so nothing falls out of here. I've done the mistake of not doing that and everything has fallen off, but it is secure when we're driving. And then when we are open for business, we lay out everything on top. Jewelry, accessories, you name it. And very quick, when I started designing the boutique, I went back and forth 20 different times. I didn't like the ceilings that I originally picked out, the flooring that I originally picked out. It wasn't until I found this statement wall that it all kind of came together. Everything had to be worked around this statement wall and that's how we made all of this happen. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Subscribe to my channel to see more videos of the Moa Boutique world and how I'm renovating another one that is coming soon. If you guys have any other questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Follow my personal Instagram. I'll post it right over here. That's where I'm very active on showing like the day-to-day -day life of a Moa Boutique business owner. I hope this was very helpful to you guys. And honestly, if you have the idea, just get started. Everything else will fall into place. But if I did it, so can you. See you guys in the next video. Bye.